Democrat lawmakers in Tennessee say they have some big concerns over the direction the state is going after some of the controversial legislation that was passed this year prior to the adjournment. In fact, it just happened this week. More now from local 24 News reporter Jenny DiPrizio. Objections ordered. If you didn't watch the Tennessee General Assembly in action, Democratic Tennessee State Senator Jeff Yarbrough sums the 2021 session up this way. This year, we coddled the conspiracy theorist, the racist, and the crazies. Laws passed this year include allowing people to carry handguns without background checks or training. Bills passed targeting LGBTQ youth, and Democrats say lawmakers fell short when it comes to truly helping people. There were just a lot of things that we did that were just so, um, so, so just terrifying to so many people in this state, and it was so unnecessary. Many said the most disappointing law passed was the bill banning critical race theory. There were several bills presented this year to teach black history in schools, to teach more black history in schools. And in turn, what we did was double down on, not only are we not gonna teach it, we're not gonna even talk about it. Lawmakers cut unemployment benefits in half from 24 to 12 weeks. To sort of heartlessly uh, cut that in half and decide to have the least generous unemployment system in the country uh, is just, it's some Ebenezer Scrooge stuff that's just uh, somewhat appalling. Republican Representative Mark White from Memphis says he believes a lot was accomplished this legislative session, saying cutting unemployment benefits will force people back to work and was fiscally responsible. We got to make sure we protect our uh, unemployment trust fund going forward so that and that's why we, we've cut it down uh, moving forward. White also defends banning critical race theory, saying facts and history will still be taught in school. The bill that we ran says talk about those things, but when you finish talking about them, don't try to lay the blame on a current race or sex, especially when you're talking to eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 year olds in school. Jenny DePrizio, Local 24 News.